Welcome to module two. There are two ways in which you can access your ThingLink account. The first is to go to thinglink.com forward slash edu and click on start now. ThingLink has single sign on with your Office 365 account, meaning you don't have to remember and create a new password. Simply hit the Windows icon. Select the account you wish to use and it will take you straight into your account page. The second way to access your ThingLink account is directly with Microsoft Teams. In your Microsoft Teams, click on your apps icon. If you can't see the apps icon, check with your administration team. It might just be that it needs to be switched on. Type in ThingLink and you'll find the app. Click open and it will take you directly into your ThingLink account page. In the ThingLink account page, there are some pages at the top with really helpful ways to use ThingLink. Firstly, welcome page where you'll see lots of inspiring project ideas from museums. There's a library of three 660 degree images, which you can browse and clone for your own use. Ideas for remote learning, teacher training, documenting learning processes, and ideas for 360 degree classroom tours. There's also a welcome webinar and some useful videos. In my media, this is the account page and here you'll find your thing links that you've created folders that you can create for collaborating with your colleagues or with students you can also create your own collections and share those as well the explore button is where you can see some ideas from the thing link team these are unesco world heritage sites that you can use but also contributions from the ThingLink community. Courses is where you can create courses for your students. My students is where you can see groups that you can create for your students, each with their own invitation code. The most important button though is the create button. And this is ever present where you can click to create and upload images, videos, or even 360. On your profile picture, you'll see your account settings and here you're able to check any particular configurations, billing, passwords and basic settings. You are also able to access on your account page, your media, statistics and all importantly, a help button and this is where you can see all of the knowledge articles which are available to you. So that's just a quick tour of the ThingLink home screen. In module three, we'll be looking at different types of images and videos which you can use to create your ThingLinks.